playing the NHL as long as you did, you developed some rivalries. What would you say is your number one rivalry that you were in? What was the best one? Uh, there, there's there was a couple, but I think uh, me and Brian McGratton. McGratton. Yeah, yeah. Was, was one of the ones where we think we fought five or six times, and uh, you can go back and you could probably put them all side by side, and they all look like the same fight. It was just a bunch of haymakers, no defense, no nothing. Like let's just go and try and you know KO each other, and yeah. and, and, and and you know you talk to him and he'll say he won all five, and I'll tell you I won all five. <laughs> and it was, just, it was just one of those ones where it was just back and forth, back and forth, and. You know, we always we always fought. We always knew we were going to fight each other. Uh, but he was tall. He was big. He, he was one of those great. guys. He, yeah. He, he was an elite yeah. fighter in that in that uh, era, and, and and you were too. And uh, you you had uh, sure, sure. sorry, and you, and it was like you th you and Bugard and McGratton were always neck and neck for that crown. And I remember in Toronto, you were having the fucking year, and you want McGratton. In Calgary, and that was the one where you busted his nose up pretty good. I remember watching that and going, "There we go." That's the that was the one that like I think sent you to the top that year of like no one can say anything now. Yeah, and that was there's a good backstory behind that one because uh, our our trainer on the team was his trainer before. Okay. And uh, so he, we me and Bratton were starting to kind of just talk a little bit to the trainer because we had the same cause same interests like tattoos and fighting <laughs> i guess i don't know why right so not really uh, horseback riding yeah right. so we, we go we start <laughs> we start whatever we, so he sends a text and goes tell tell war i got a new move tonight so this is this is game day like the day before like the day of the fight and i'm like okay so i guess we're fighting tonight and uh, sure enough, first shift we're going out there, and and, and we go and and, I, and I'm fighting, and, and I catch him. I catch him good. I get him with the nose, you know. I get him good. After the game, he texts him back and goes, "So what was that new move?" And he goes, "Apparently getting my nose smashed across my face <laughs> was the next one." But he told me he's like, "I'm gonna get you next time." I was like, "No, no, we're good. No more. That's it." So <laughs> never never fought him, fought him again. Me, but uh, let me hang my hat yeah. on that one. I think I'll be done. But he's so, one. He's one of those guys where now, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm friends with McGrath. That was my question. That yeah. was, are you guys buddies now? Because it sounds like you had a good relationship. Yeah, yeah. No, so I I I, 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 I talked to McGrath and uh, you know Perils, uh, John Scott. These guys are all now. You know, like I said, we talked about that respect that we had for each other, and you know, because we all know we were we're doing for a reason, and you know, we're all kind of doing the same kind of roles. So we understood what it was to kind of do that, and now we all kind of have this little bond and, and a little friendship, I guess. Oh, my God.